On Tuesday, the 2022 Grammy nominations were announced, and musician John Batiste leads this year with 11. His nods include Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Best R&B Album. He reacted to his nominations on Tuesday night's episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, where he is the band leader. And I just was sitting there by the eighth one, and I was just like, I was, I was actually to myself, I was talking to God, I was like, there's a lesson in this for me to learn. There's, there's something, it's, it's great, but there's so much happening in my life right now. And, and this is happening. And there's something in this that's bigger than me and, and just adulation for me that I have to learn in this. So I'm, I'm so grateful. Following Batiste with eight nominations each are Justin Bieber, her, and Doja Cat, who after learning about the number of nominations tweeted her disbelief writing, yo WTF, eight? She later followed up with, that's dope, man. Her also tweeted in celebration writing eight noms. Wow, God is good. And Taylor Swift has reason to celebrate, and she is. After news that her album Evermore was nominated for Album of the Year, she posted a reference to her song Champagne Problems, writing, quote, no problems today, just champagne. Swift is defending her title as Album of the Year winner. Her album Folklore, which was released just five months prior to Evermore, won the award at the 2021 Grammys. But not everyone is celebrating the Grammy nominations. Machine Gun Kelly couldn't believe he was not nominated for a Grammy yet again. He tweeted, WTF is wrong with the Grammys. Miley Cyrus also reacted to her zero nominations. She tweeted an article titled 30 artists who haven't won Grammys and wrote in good company.